Let's look at the last 40 years of Nintendo consoles and how their hardware has evolved. Their first global console, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, was released as the Famicom in Japan in 1983, then had a redesign and a name change for worldwide releases across the rest of the 1980s, with a UK release in 1987. The CPU in the NES had a clock speed of just 1.79 MHz, which is slower than some modern scientific calculators. It only had 2 kilobytes of RAM and a PPU, standing for Picture Processing Unit, that could display up to 54 colors. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES, was released as the Super Famicom in Japan in 1990, before a US release in 1991, and then in Europe in 1992. The CPU was twice as fast as the NES at 3.58 MHz, the RAM size was 64 times larger at 128 kilobytes, and this console contains two PPUs for a total of over 32,000 possible colors. The Nintendo 64 was released in Japan and America in 1996 and globally the year after. The CPU had a clock speed of 93.75 MHz, a big increase on the SNES. There was also a huge improvement in RAM capacity, up to 4.5 MB. And the console contained a Reality Coprocessor, operating at 62.5 MHz and displaying nearly 17 million colors. The GameCube and its equally goofy controller was released globally in 2001 and had a CPU four times as fast as the Nintendo 64 at 485 MHz. RAM capacity had increased up to 24 MB and the GPU could now run at 162 MHz. Check out part 2 of this short to find out how the Wii, Wii U, Switch and Switch 2 have evolved even further.